Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to review uh, Maybelline's uh, Matte and Poreless Foundation. And uh, this foundation is not a new foundation, but I don't know why I did not buy it, why I did not try it. I think uh, last week I have picked this foundation. I spotted there was a sale going on on all on all Maybelline products. So I did pick uh, some of their products like some eyeliner, gel eyeliner, uh, one of their super stay matte lipstick and this foundation and one of their new concealer which they have extended the range and uh, i was pretty amazed that up till now i have not tried this so i did try it once and i was really amazed and i'm going to tell with which foundation i am going to compare this uh, consistency and the finish so as you can see this is the tube uh it's a very travel friendly tube i must say and uh very simple and very simple squeezy tube and the shade i have is 322 which is if you can see over here golden caramel uh, it has expiry of 12 months within a year you can use it and it comes in a standard of 30 ml product uh, it is for normal to oily skin people the outer parts of my face are dried and my t-zone is oily as like i'm aging there are some changes coming in my skin also i have already swatched this foundation one hour before uh, to check how much uh, this foundation oxidized so i will show you so first i will show you the consistency its consistency is very very runny which i like and uh, this is the swatch of it this this is the fresh swatch and this is the swatch which i have done one hour before so you can see how much this foundation oxidizes and this is the only i think con in this foundation if i will wear this foundation and i will go somewhere i don't know how dark i will look because it's i think this uh a shade is a perfect match for my skin and i would have gotten like a lighter shade there are so many good things about this foundation but the only con is that it oxidizes really badly as you can see the result after one hour this is the only and one of the major cons of this foundation which has kept me to purchase this because i have used the fit me foundation almost eight to nine years back and that foundation also used to oxidize like i don't know crazy so that was that so let me just moisturize my skin uh to moisturize my skin i am using uh nevia soft The very first time when i used this foundation i just used it with my fingers it is so runny and it glides on smoothly that you don't i don't think you need any tool to apply it but for the sake of this video i'm going to do it uh, with a brush and a sponge one side i will use the sponge and the other side i'm going to use a brush so i was telling you uh this foundation reminds me of uh, another foundation and it reminds me of uh, my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm not kidding that it, when I used it for the very first time, the finish, the way it glides, it reminded me of that. And, and that is a high end foundation. And that is quite expensive as well. And I was really amazed. As you can see, I don't have to do anything while uh, 
talking that is evenly blended on on my skin the coverage of this foundation is uh, I guess light to medium it is not very heavy coverage uh, high coverage or heavy coverage foundation it's very lightweight and uh, I don't feel anything like a very heavy mask as if I have applied a very heavy mask on my face so I think as you can see that is whatever I took uh, on the back of my hand like one squeeze that has uh, I have applied it on my face so the other side I will take another squeeze a size mount it is not thick or mousse like I like that thing about that foundation I do prefer um, water based and light foundations so I have just sprayed some uh, face mist on my sponge and you can just go this side my preferred way of applying the foundation is with the brush because I feel uh, the sponge soaks a lot of product and I feel it's just a waste so as you can as you guys can see how easily this foundation blends you don't need to do anything it glides very nicely somehow it has like even out my skin but still I can see some scarring which I had left behind from my acne but the finish what this foundation has given me is quite impressive the only problem is that it oxidizes really badly So that is the whole application on my face this side I have used the brush and uh, this side I have used the sponge the sponge side is more uh, I can feel radiant and more natural so now, so now I'm just going to set this foundation uh, only in the middle of my face where I think uh, it can crack or settle down in the fine lines I'm just using my uh, Laura Mercier's translucent setting powder you can use any powder whatever is available with you So that's the final uh, result of this foundation as you can see the finish is really nice it looks really pretty on the skin I did not use any primers for this video just to show you guys how this foundation looks each and every one is not going to buy this foundation along with the primer so uh, that's why I didn't want to use a primer just to show you guys how it looks on its own I'm really impressed with the finish like if I have to go on an event for an event I will never ever going to use this foundation because as you can see how much is going it is going to oxidize I have used it in the past with the fit me foundation with the fit me 
uh, compact and uh, it does oxidizes with that as well so if i have to rate this foundation out of five i would give it 3.5 only and only because it oxidizes so much other than that if maybelline if team maybelline is watching this my video and if they will fix this problem i think it's a fabulous and fantastic foundation and the price is really great uh, in oman it is available for 5.8 reals and i have bought it on 50 percent so i have paid i think 2.8 or something or 2.7 so it was a good bargain for me and i really wanted to give it a try if testers are available in your country and they allow to test this foundation because here we don't have i just had to pick the color and buy the foundation there were no testers so i couldn't try it otherwise i would have gone two to three shades lighter i would have checked after one hour and then i would have uh, done my purchase if that facility is available in your country i would suggest that uh, to do a swatch and see how much this this is going to oxidize so that was my review on this foundation and if you have any question you can ask me in the comments down below and i will be happy to answer all of your questions so till my next video take very good care of yourselves and be safe bye